people in Toronto are waking up this morning after a wild night. An intense storm brought flash floods that left many waterlogged and stranded. This was last night in a western downtown neighborhood of Toronto. Cars plunging full speed into floodwaters only to find themselves getting stuck. Look at that. Those are just some of the scenes from the storm. Megan Fitzpatrick is in downtown Toronto where people are dealing with the extensive damage this morning. So Megan, what is the situation where you are? Well, Catherine, we're in a neighborhood in downtown Toronto called Liberty Village. There are a lot of condo buildings around here and then a lot of businesses as well. And we know some residents here affected by that heavy downpour late last night. Uh, some residents of the condo buildings around here posting video on social media of water pouring in through the ceilings, into the hallways and the lobbies of their buildings, as well as an underground parking garage that was flooded with the deluge of water as well. And we know a lot of the businesses around here mopping up some soggy floors this morning. People are out here with their umbrellas making their way to work this morning and walking their dogs getting a bit soaked. Uh, so again, as you can see, the water still coming down, the rain still coming down here in Toronto and it was quite a scene last night in this city. A lot of transit users affected people. However, they were trying to get around uh, the city affected. Not far from where we are, Catherine, there was a TTC streetcar that got stuck as it was passing through an underpass in this part of the city and not too far away from from here, we know there were a couple of cars uh, that were also stranded, and the Toronto Police Marine Unit had to help those motorists get out of their cars. Um, but that wasn't the most dramatic rescue we heard about last night. There was also another story of two men who were trapped in an elevator of an apartment building in Toronto uh, that was down in the basement of that building, and they were submerged in about six feet of water. Toronto Police saying uh, they were keeping their heads above water by standing on the railways within the elevator and when police arrived they were called and got there about 11 o'clock last night uh, the police were able to get down to the elevator and pry the doors open with a crowbar the two men in there only had about a foot left of space to keep their heads above the water and to breathe so uh, they were able to get out safely obviously great timing that the police got there so quickly and were able to get in there and help them out one man suffering a bit of a hand injury, but nothing serious, uh, no need to, uh, for hospitalization or anything like that. So quite a dramatic rescue we've heard about last night. Otherwise, a lot of people in this city affected in other ways, uh, again, trying to make their way around this city. We know the train that goes from Union Station in downtown Toronto out to the airport, Toronto Pearson Airport, had to stop service last night. So some travelers in and out of Toronto likely affected by that last night. It has resumed service this morning, things back to normal, both on on the UP Express as well as the TTC, but commuters are being warned to expect some delays, Catherine. And some people still de dealing with some power outages. There were more than 16,000 people in Toronto last night who had their power go out and Toronto Hydro working to get that restored as quickly as possible. So uh, why did this all happen? Quite simply because a lot of rain came down very quickly last night. Environment Canada did put out a storm warning uh, saying people should expect up to 100 millimeters and we know a lot of that did fall within about a two hour period. So obviously the streets flooded and other infrastructure just couldn't handle the heavy amount of rain. And again, it's still coming down this morning. So people here in Toronto starting off their day uh, in a very soggy way, Catherine, and uh, it might be a bit slower for them to get to work or wherever they're going this morning. Okay, thanks for that. Megan Fitzpatrick in Toronto.